I'm sure you've come across a barrage of articles and news reports about inflation in the last couple of months. Ever wondered what lies beneath the headlines on growth or inflation numbers and the jargon associated with the two most important macroeconomic indicators? Then this ready reckoner is all you need. The world is stumbling from one economic crisis to another. One is caused by a pandemic and the other by a military invasion. The impact of these events have been fully reflected in two key indicators, growth and inflation. So what do these words mean? If such questions leave you scratching your head, keep watching this video as we've put together 10 terms that are key to understand the economic turmoil prevailing in India and the world. Number 1. Annualized Inflation It's the percentage change in prices for a period compared to the same period of the previous year. It's calculated by comparing the respective index numbers, whether the consumer price index or the wholesale price index for the two periods. India's inflation target, along that of other countries, is spelt out in these terms. Next up is core inflation, which measures inflation after excluding items whose prices are volatile, food and fuel for instance. This measure of inflation is more stable than the headline number and is seen as an indicator of the underlying demand. Number 3 is depression. A fall in GDP for multiple years is termed a depression. A recession is commonly defined as at least two consecutive quarters of year-on-year -year contraction in GDP, such as the one India experienced in the second and third quarters of 2020 following a nationwide lockdown. Next, we have the K-shaped recovery. This is what economists say India is currently experiencing with different sections of the economy recovering at varying rates. For instance, the rich may have become richer following the pandemic as they could easily work from home. Meanwhile, the poor may have been rendered unemployed by the pandemic, depending on the nature of their jobs. And then there's the V-shaped recovery and as the name suggests, it represents a near instantaneous recovery from a rapid decline. It was thought India's recovery from the pandemic would be V-shaped, but instead it has been K-shaped. Moving on, Monetary Policy Report is a report the RBI is legally mandated to release every six months. Published in April and in late September or early October every year, it gives details about the sources of inflation and inflation forecasts for the next 6 to 18 months. Now coming on to stagflation, which is a combination of stagnation and inflation. It refers to a period of low growth and high inflation. A classic example of stagflation is the 1970s. The World Bank has drawn comparisons between the current situation and the 1970s, citing the prolonged period of highly accommodative monetary policy in major advanced economies, followed by persistent supply-side disturbances, pushing inflation higher. And now coming to shrinkflation. Shrinkflation refers to the phenomenon of companies maintaining the price of their goods, but reducing the quantity offered. Let's say a packet of chips continues to cost 20 rupees but now weighs 52 grams instead of 60 grams earlier. Companies do this to avoid raising their prices which may weaken demand further and lead to a loss of market share. This usually occurs when rising input costs put pressure on companies' margins. Next is liquidity surplus or deficit which indicates the level of money available in the banking system. During an economic crisis, central banks provide extra liquidity as the RBI and other central banks did during the pandemic. However, excess liquidity can lead to higher inflation as greater sums of money chase the same number of goods. And finally, you have terminal rate. It's the level of policy rate consistent with stable inflation and full capacity utilization. This level of policy rate is not fixed and can vary over time. Economists say the terminal repo rate for India may be 6 to 6.5% currently, suggesting a series of rate hikes in the coming months. Hope this video was helpful, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.